So I've got a couple of jobs to do today, one of which is to change the oil in the engine. We've already got a video of that on the channel, so I'm not going to show that again. I'll just provide a link, probably in the top corner about now. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to show a way to change the um, sail drive oil while the boat is in the water. So again, we've got a video of us changing that when the boat was on the hard. Um, basically, you undo the screw at the bottom, but there is a way to change the oil uh, in a sail drive while the boat is in the water. On later sail drives, there's a tube at the side which you can actually use to extract the oil from. On earlier sail drives, that doesn't appear to be there from, from what I've seen and, and what I know from, from the previous boat. And basically, you have to put the um, oil extraction pump down the top, so they have a larger uh, sort of filling cap at the top spin that off and then you have to try and send the tube down so you obviously got to get that past some of the gearing where on the later models there is like a dedicated tube to change that we don't really need to change the oil in the sail drive at the moment it's perfectly clean and it would be easy to change it but as i'm doing this and i'm probably going to only get a couple of liters actually out of it because that's the other thing to say is that you can't get the entire contents of the oil out of the sail drive but as i'm changing the oil on the engine it makes sense to sort of have a go at that anyway just in case we need to do that in the future so this video is all about changing the oil in a sail drive while a boat is in the water. So here's our engine, you've seen this before, it's an MD2030 and attached to that is an S130 sail drive. Now here's the normal sort of dipstick tube that you can see just here and just behind this pipe this is the tube that you can use to extract the oil um, while the boat is in the water. Now as I say this design has changed um, from previous generations of sail drive and there's a much larger cap roughly here which you can use to extract it so we don't have that we have the dedicated sort of service uh, or oil extraction tube at the side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cap off that and then I'm going to send the tube down there and I'm going to extract it yeah, and that's how I'm going to do it for, for this model of sail drive. I'm going to warm the engine up. It's not going to make any difference to extracting the oil out of the um, sail drive itself because that will not warm up. You know, we're not going to generate enough heat in there to help us. So it is going to be quite a slow process in terms of extracting it. But we'll just leave it for a bit and see how much oil we get out. So I'm going to do the engine oil first and then I'll come back and do that one in a second. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now I've done the engine oil is I'm going to take a little bit of oil out of here because the tube tube here seems very close to the top. Um, the oil's lovely and clean so I've not got any issues there but you probably can't see because there's deals at these pads. This tube and the height of this seem very very close to me so I'm just going to take a little bit out the top of here before I do anything else. Um, I'm just going to get a bit of tissue and wipe the top of the engine oil tube so we can just make sure it's lovely and clean. Now what we'll do is we'll just pop that in the top of here first and we're just going to take a bit of oil out the top. I'm just using the Pella um, oil pump. So, you can probably hear already that that is getting close to the top. Um, so it's already extracted all the oil out of the top of that. You probably can't see on the video here, but um, the colour of that oil is a lot cleaner. You probably can see there's oil coming through that. So, I mean, again, that is spotlessly clean, and that's really what you're, you're after. You want to make sure that it's, you know, it's not milky, and it's much harder to tell this way. Um, but want to make sure that that oil is not milky, um, and um, that the colour is pretty much like new oil. Uh, and, and, it, and it is. I mean, now that was black before, so I'm definitely taking the sail drive oil out now, which is, which is good. Um, obviously, if there's any um, deterioration in the colour or anything, then you need to really lift the boat. And as I say, this is a way to, to do this while it's in the water, but preferably you do it while it's out because the anodes are probably the, the thing that's deteriorating the most here, not the actual engine oil. If you look at the prop anode on a, a sail drive or the one that's actually protecting the leg itself, they're the ones really that need changing and they only really last a year. So I just thought I'd change this while I've got some spare oil um, and just to so, so show the process really. So what you need to do with this is you actually need to connect to the top of that and use that as the extraction tube because there's something down there. Eight. 
so we can put this back now. Here's the Jubilee clip. So I've just checked, lose that in there. I've just checked that I can't get any more oil out of either of these. I can't, so that must be that. It's about two litres come out, maybe a little tiny bit more. And I will just double check. So this has got a little uh, wash on the top, low ring. Wash that back in and then we'll clamp that back down into there. Just, you have to make a really good seal here. So if your oil pump is like mine, which has got the end already attached, it's quite difficult to get down there. I had to kind of seal that top as well. Um, so yeah, it might be just an idea just to check the diameter of this to your oil extraction pump to make sure you can get a good seal on that. Otherwise, it's easier actually to get it out the top of here. Um, I know this goes further down and I did get a little bit more oil out, but not a lot. So I think that's as much as we can extract this way. It's quite difficult to show you filling this up because um, there's not enough room to get the camera and the oil can and everything in. But uh, I bought this little, well, it's, I don't know what it is, it's like a, a piece of plastic but it's got a, a metal sort of inside off eBay ages ago. Thought I'd never use that. Actually it's really easy to sort of jam in there one end because you can twist it um, and you can run oil down it. That's what it's actually used for. I bought it because getting the oil filter off these engines is really difficult and I thought it would help but it didn't. But it actually is quite helpful for using and shaping into a, a filter. So I've just topped that up. I've got two litres out, just over two litres out, so I've just put that back in. And that's basically it. So we've changed the sail drive oil while we were in the water still.